the coffee is absolutely the products I have to say are remarkable and they're outstanding. And as a naturopath, why I'm particularly interested and I'm always looking for products that have the ability to reduce the cravings and the appetite. And many of the things, products in the marketplace fall short of being able to do this. Many of the other companies, they will give you a just simply a fat blocker. So I'll go to an event and the donuts are still on the table and they say eat them anyway because you're going to eat that fat blocker when you're finished. And this is not a healthy way. This is a very healthy way with this coffee because of its impact on um, cravings, which are a beast when they're ready, and your appetite control. And this means you're not on a diet, so mentally there's none of this game playing. You just automatically reduce your consumption. What I want to cover briefly, because I know I'm on a time scale, and see what I can fit in for you today, is to understand how the weight comes about, is what I'm going to show you initially, and then show you what are the ingredients in the products that are addressing these these weight issues. And it's not simply people are just stuffing down too much food. One of the things I've seen with anybody with weight, they always have a, a problem with allergies. And they don't, they're not aware they have allergies at all. Anybody I have with extra weight on, any of my clients, they always have a genetic allergy to mold and to gluten. And when this is true, and you continue, and often, how do we know we have an allergy to something? I hate to tell you, they have a nickname for me. I'm called Dr. Killjoy, and I'm about to kill your joy. And this is the problem. You only love the foods that you are allergic to. So I ask people, what's your favorite? And anyone that's had knee surgery, they love cheese. Cheese is destroying their knees and they don't know it. I always say, or they love, the people that love pastas and uh, all the carbs, this is because they're made with gluten and you have an allergy to gluten, so that makes you love pasta and all the carbohydrates that we're not supposed to consume. And it's literally caused by an allergy. And so when I want to know someone's allergic to something, I ask what their favorite food is, and I listen for the word I love. You are only supposed to love people, not food. And so this is one of the keys to identify if you have an allergy to something that you, that you love a lot and you eat every day. Now, the point in raising this about the allergies is that when you eat gluten and you have an allergy to it, which is rye, oats, barley, wheat, these are, these are gluten foods. So all the breads. The brown bread is actually worse because the browner the bread is or the more grains, the higher the gluten. So in this situation of allergy, white is better than brown. It's it's more deadly in brown. Now, it, it causes the body to attack the thyroid. Gluten, when you eat that bread, it will shut down your thyroid. Now, when anybody has weight, their thyroid is not working. You will go to the hospital get a test done on your thyroid the thyroid test done in the hospital is nine times out of ten totally inaccurate so I say to people with weight if you've been told informed that you have all this extra weight but your thyroid is in perfect order it is impossible you cannot have a working thyroid and have weight on you it's impossible So the allergies, the bread will attack the thyroid. Now, when your thyroid is not working well, it will cause you to have a very slow metabolism, which means now I am unable to burn my food. You could eat a salad and still gain weight. You will go to the gym 24-7. Not one pound will be removed because the thyroid is not working, so your ability to burn your food is very limited. So this is one of the key things that I wanted to flag out, and I will show you which products are overriding this problem, but this is one of the main underlying problems, is the allergies. Now, the allergies, when you have allergies and you have weight and you eat foods that you are allergic to, the next thing it creates is inflammation. All people with weight are very inflamed. You hear the word flame, it means you're on fire. How do you put a fire out in your house? You throw water on it, unless it's in the kitchen. But you would throw water on the fire. That is what the body is doing. It is throwing water 
So it, you retain water. So very many people with a lot of weight on them, and they don't have to be huge. We all get inflamed no matter what size you are. Your ring size, suddenly your ring gets tight. Your fingers are swelling. This is because you've just taken something in that put you on fire, and the only way the body can help you to put the fire out is to put water on that fire. So you get water retention. So some of the weight people are carrying is water weight, but it is only caused by your inflammation. So that's how you put that particular fire out. Now, one of the things people don't realize is they don't drink enough water. The only thing, the natural diuretic, a doctor will give you a water pill. This is not the answer to dropping water weight. The, the answer to dropping this weight, the water weight, is drinking more water. So a natural diuretic is water. If you are bone dry and not drinking water, then the body will retain fluid and it, dehydration causes you to hold on to fat. Fat loss occurs with lots of water. Fat retention will occur with not enough water. And I define enough water is three quarts per day. And if it's really hot where you live, you're talking about a gallon a day makes the fat go away. That's my motto. And so we're not having enough water to allow the water to leave the body and stop retaining it. So water is your natural diuretic, and that's what you need. Now, the other thing about um, the thyroid and the, the metabolism is that you will continue to keep gaining weight. Now, the thyroid I've already, I want to cover briefly. The thyroid, again, controls your metabolism, your ability to burn weight. What shuts your thyroid down, again, is apart from gluten, is bromide. Um, bromide is um, a component that's put in bread. All the bread and the flour, unless it says non-bromide, that flour or bread you're buying has bromide in it. And bromide shuts thyroid down. Bromide is also tucked away in Gatorade and Mountain Dew. And this shuts your thyroid down along with fluoride. Fluoride, you see they both end with IDE, bromide, fluoride. They block iodine. And iodine, you say iodine. Iodine makes your thyroid work. But bromide and Gatorade and Mountain Dew and fluoride in your toothpaste will inhibit your thyroid. So anybody can go in their browser and put in the hidden dangers of fluoride. Well, it shut, and it's in your drinking water. You need to not be using tap water with high fluoride. It shuts thyroid down. And that you can find anywhere online um, without any trouble at all. Now, in terms of the inflammation aspect that we've just spoken about, the, the trim product has a berry in there called maki, M-A-Q-U-I berry. And maki berry is extremely anti-inflammatory. And so this will help you to reduce the water weight that you're carrying, not just the fat weight. So that is in the trim, and I know some people use coffee during the day, and then they use the trim before the half an hour before the evening meal. So that's one of the products you have to hand that will be very useful for you to reduce the inflammation, because inflammation is the key that underpins most diseases have now been established very clearly that the root cause of heart disease, diabetes, all these illnesses, rheumatoid arthritis, is inflammation. So you have a very good ingredient, the maki berry in the trim formula, that will help you to address what I'm talking about, but also many other conditions that are caused by inflammation. So I think we're clear on the thyroid shutting down. Now, how are you going to override the thyroid issue is using the... The Slim Roast has L-carnitine in it. Now, L-carnitine not only detoxifies you, but is excellent for ensuring that you burn fat, and it also ensures that your metabolism increases. So L-carnitine briefly increases energy. It's an appetite suppressant. Increases your muscle strength, so you can the gentle the men can do heavier weights in in the gym. Improves your memory function and your brain. It slows bone loss. It also works on um, type two diabetes, and it ensures that you the fats 
You burn them for energy instead of storing them for fat. And the L-carnitine also works on diabetics that have neuropathy. It, they did medical studies that showed it in reduced angina, which is the, the heart pain, by 40%. It reduced arrhythmia, which in English is rapid heartbeat, by 65% in medical studies. Um, and so, and it also for the men helps with erectile dysfunction for those of you that have that issue. So l does a whole range of things, and we won't go into that, at the, all of the things it does, but that's enough for you to understand that that is overriding your slow metabolism and your slow thyroid. The other one is the Garcinia cambogia is also increasing your metabolism. It actually changes the way that your liver handles fat because it's your liver that breaks down fat. It's always done in the liver. So when people have elevated cholesterol, why does the Carcinia cambogia help you increase your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol? Because cholesterol is a form of fat, and all fat is broken down in your liver. So the liver is key when people have belly fat. The liver is fatty, and it's not breaking down the fat or processing it well in the liver. So your Garcinia cambogia will do that through that pathway. The, now these days they say the Garcinia cambogia, thanks to Dr. Oz, is the hottest weight loss ingredient in town, and you have huge amounts in your Slim Roast coffee because Dave has really gone all out and put really high levels in there that it's a fat buster. So it's blocking fat production um, and changing how you store fat in the liver and burn it instead of storing it in the liver. Um, the Garcinia cambogia also slows down how you convert carbs to fat. So if you're slowing down the conversion to fat, you will produce less fat. It's also an appetite suppressant. And the other important thing that the Garcinia does is it increases serotonin. Serotonin is a happy chemical that your brain produces. Well, you produce it in your stomach. It then goes to your brain. And many people are emotional eaters. And so this is a reduction in stress is when you increase serotonin. So Garcinia cambogia is helping you in, on many fronts with the weight loss. But often people that crave carbohydrates and sugar, the serotonin chemical that's a happy chemical, makes people happy, is very low. So this is why people feel mood elevation when they take the Slim Roast because the Garcinia cambogia is increasing your serotonin, and then you have the ginseng on top, which improves your moods and is anti-stress, and it's anti-diabetic, it's anti-inflammatory as well, the ginseng. So the other one for your inflammation would be the ginseng as well as the trim with the maki berry. So these are two good tools, and this is why these products are working so well for people that are having trouble with their... Uh, with their weight and have had problems all their lives. And sometimes it's just a biochemical imbalance is the problem, plus you're being exposed to things that are not helping you, as in bromide, gluten, and fluoride. So these are, this is how these products are overriding the problem. The other thing about weight and belly fat is we produce a stress hormone called cortisol, C-O-R-T-I-S-O-L. Cortisol is a beast. Many people these days are working for people that their employer is an absolute bully. And they can get away with it because they know everybody needs a job, and if you leave the job and you make too much noises, they'll say next. So stress at work is another big contributory factor because once you start producing that stress hormone, cortisol, it makes terrible belly fat. And so, again, how do we address the belly fat issue through the products? Well, ginseng and the garcinia can, but, well, not garcinia, the ginseng is, is a stress buster. So it's, it's a, it improves moods and it's anti-stress which means this will lower your cortisol levels uh, through the ginseng that's in the, the, the coffee, the Slim Roast coffee, and increases the, improves the mood. So I'm looking at my list here. 
anti-fatigue, anti-stress, anti-aging, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory is the ginseng. And so, again, we have a way to override the stress from wherever it's coming from, the marriage, the home, money stress, all those stresses we know about. Um, the ginseng will address, uh, will address that issue. Uh, so that's how the stress hormones are working and how the products are lowering that aspect for you. The other thing to recognize about belly fat and a fatty liver that you can all do to help yourselves is all the juices and sodas that you consume, they all have fructose, either high fructose corn syrup or fructose. Once you see that word, and this is all the juices in the stores or anything you pick up to drink that sweetens, even the, what they call vitamin water, you call vitamin water. That water is not water, it's absolute nonsense. The second ingredient on vitamin water is fructose. Now, fructose is a sweetener made by man. Sugar is made by God, and it grows in the ground. Now, the fructose made by man cannot be broken down by the liver. So what happens is you begin to get a fatty liver. And the more fatty your liver becomes, the more belly fat you create. And the other um, important thing about this is that the fructose is used by all these companies in packaged foods and they try and put it in everything because one of its main functions is that it, it ensures that you don't know when you are full up. There's a hormone we have called leptin in our fat cells and leptin tells you, oh my goodness, I'm full up to the brim, I can't eat anymore. But unfortunately, some of the things in the sodas and the juices ensure that that leptin does not work. And so the key here is to avoid these drinks while you're using the sodas, I mean using the Slim Roast as much as possible, because you will speed up your weight loss with the less exposure you have to these substances that tells you that you are not full. But clearly, this is what I love about the Slim Roast. It is overriding this, this message, which means it has to be increasing your leptin in some way or another. But imagine if you're taking the sodas and doing things with fructose, you're slowing the process down, and you could be speeding up this weight loss by not exposing yourself to these juices. You know, I'm from England, and I watch over here, you have these large gunks of drink that you get free, fill up all free in these restaurants. And I watch little nine-year-olds going up to get their free uh, cup of nastiness. And I say, the only thing that's free is poison. So they go and get the free cups of drink, all you can drink. And I see little eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, they're already getting the belly fat. And they don't realize, the parents, that it's this fructose in these juices and these sodas this unnatural sweetener that is causing the belly fat. So that, that is always huge if you can either stop or reduce considerably your consumption of these juices and these sweet drinks. The only way that the juice has no fructose is you literally have to go into a health food store, for those of you who heard of such a thing, and you have to look for the juice that says it is a hundred now what they do is all a game i even get caught out when i go in there it says a hundred percent juice and then it says it's from concentrate really how is it hundred percent juice so i look for the one that says no concentrate and a hundred percent juice but everything is a game you know i've had clients say to me when i tell them they have to reduce their sugar they start grabbing at everything they can think of that has sugar in it they could take and one lady said to me, the patient said, well, what about the unsweetened um, orange juice? So I said to her, okay, let's use the gray cells that God gave us, and let's just look at that comment. You say it's unsweetened. Now, it says on the back of the fruit juice, of the orange juice, orange aid or any of those nasty things, it says on the back 5% juice, 5% orange. So then you tell me, what is the other 95% making it taste sweet? And she goes, how could I be so stupid? I said, no, you're just well conditioned to believe what's written on the front of the books. It's not, not possible for it to be unsweetened. Your common sense tells you that. 
And so don't get caught out with these things. I mean, some of the orange juices they brought into England, they threw them right back out because they just had never been introduced to the orange. And the British people weren't very happy with that. And so that's on the, the weight. We've covered the hormones. Now, the other thing about weight is our emotional eaters and depression. The Garcinia and the ginseng is excellent here because it's helping you overcome emotional eating by increasing that serotonin levels. And serotonin reverses depression. You go to the doctor for depression, they will give you what they call an SSRI. In English, it's a tablet that increases serotonin but has so many side effects and causes people to commit suicide, which it says on the packaging, that it is infinitely better to use the ginseng and the Garcinia Cambogia in the slim roast that is going to help you to overcome the emotional eating in that way. Now, let's see what else I have to cover. The other thing about um, I want to really cover as well is two things. One is diet soda. All the studies have now proven, in fact, studies have just come out of England, and they have said this is ridiculous, that diet soda is just the word diet. In fact, they want to take a suit, a lawsuit, for false advertising. I just saw this last week against these companies claiming that diet soda is healthy and it helps you to lose weight. It's an absolute lie. Diet soda, the ingredients they've put, aspartame, which is the artificial sweetener, is very toxic and very dangerous. It actually does not help you lose weight. It makes you gain weight. And I can't have time to explain the mechanism involved in the body, why it makes you gain weight, but for true, it does. Um, clearly, they're very addictive, and it's hard for people to get off of them. I understand this because of the aspartame sweetener. But the other problem is that they tell diabetics that it's safer to them to have aspartame as opposed to cane sugar that grows in the ground. Again, we have something made in a laboratory by man, highly dangerous, and it's actually established as a neurotoxin. What is neuro? The nerves is your neurosystem, central nervous system, how we cope with life. So it's a neurotoxin, which means it poisons the nervous system. What does that mean for a diabetic? Is when they're eating diet soda and splendor and throwing these things instead of real sugar, it increases your risk of neuropathy, which is the terrible nerve pain that diabetics experience. And the worst thing, it ensures that you will lose a toe or several toes in amputation because of that sweetener. So diet soda, if I have young Americans that tell me they have multiple sclerosis, the very first question I ask them, were you doing a load of diet soda, diet sweetener, diet everything? And yes, they were. So this is established that this diet sweetener puts lesions in your brains and it causes you to, to lose motor coordination. When they're young people, I find this is why. So again, aspartame can induce multiple sclerosis in those of us that are more susceptible. You know, people that drink this stuff, they'll have twitchy eye, the leg moves. I tell people, anything in your body that moves and you did not instruct it to do so, that means the nerves are not functioning properly. They are under stress. So a lot of people that drink this diet stuff will have twitching, the leg just shakes by itself, the eyes, twi eyes twitching. This is because of the sweetener destroying your nervous system. Again, you go in the browser, of everything I say, you put in the hidden dangers of fluoride, the hidden dangers of aspartame, which is A-S-P-A-R-T-A-M for mother E. So aspartame is what I call a piece of evil, and it does not help you in any shape or form. It is very dangerous, and it will impair your results. Again, slow you down. You don't want to be exposed to any of those sweeteners it is far better you take cane sugar, raw cane sugar, and take that that was made naturally in nature as opposed to a sweetener that was made by man. There's a book on Amazon. It's called um, sure, Something Blues. I've forgotten the name now. Anyway, I'll try to remember it. But it's all about this sweet diet sweeteners. 
It's the whole book, and it's not just one page. It's a whole book about the harm that it's doing to people. So, again, I only flag these up so that you know what is in your day-to-day life that is reducing the efficacy of these extraordinary products that you could speed up your process if you just stopped your exposure to these things and incorporate these products. But I do want to thank you, Dave. They're absolutely, I'm very excited because I have been looking for something that really works to help people with the, I say wait, but really what I wanted to help them with was the cravings and the appetite control. And there is not much in the market that does this, and to do it in the vehicle of the coffee is just ingenious. 